ladies and gentlemen, this is Envoy of Kairos. Getting my ears blasted by this opening screen right away. Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Infernax. My new Pixel Party Weekends upload, and I've been looking forward to this one ever since I found out that one of my favorite YouTubers went and did a lot of the composing on this. So, I'm gonna have some fun with this one. Harkens back to old Castlevania, original Castlevania. But, much better color palette, highly improved uh, mechanics and general additions, town and NPC management, it should be some really interesting stuff. So how about we get into this and uh, see what all we've got on our plate. Controls feel a bit off. It's reminding me of... Uh, it's reminding me of DS emulation with this control scheme at the moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know this game is pretty difficult. It harkens back to a series I don't have the most experience with. Uh... I mean, I did play them, I just never managed to beat them. So... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with casual mode. Sorry for the yawn there, I only got up an hour ago. The young Duke Envoy, tired of the violent crusades, finally returns home. But Envoy was unaware that something came back from the Holy Land to his homeland the year before. A mysterious book written by a madman, whose scriptures were believed to hold great power. This is where Envoy's adventure begins. The first part is that actually looks like me if I uh, grew my hair out, lost some weight. Okay, smooth controls so far. Ugh. And that's a zombie. Okay. First enemy already found. Ooh, good animation right off the bat. Wow, when we have proper gore animation where the enemies are gibbed and you actually get parts of them on him. Okay, going smoothly so far. Oh, this guy's turning. Let's see if I can help them. Oh god. Okay, and that was a poor decision, and he turned into a boss. But he seems to only have this one attack, and I got his health halfway down. There we go. That was a really fucked up transformation, though.
<laughs> okay, that's a good comment, but I want to see if I get anything out of attacking this. No, I guess not. Ooh, upgrade. Okay. Alright, that's a simple enough system. Mm, I'm not taking much damage, and I don't have any uses for mana yet, so... I'm gonna upgrade power first. Get some easy kills in. into it. Well, as a Terraria player, these are some really familiar enemies. check for potential wall items. This spot seems like it should be important later. Okay, what do we have over here? of ghosts. I want to see what's down here. Probably better to go this way than fall, because I don't know if there's fall damage in this or not. Shit. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, they have some really brutal kill animations. Christ. Got him. And that is a fuckload of cash. Get up there. Wonder if I'll earn a double jump. Oh, gladly. Shit. Holy shit. Okay, that was pretty bad. I'll check what's over this way, since I now know that the plot thread is over the other way. Yep, I just got treasure over here. Ah! Flighty asshole. Doesn't seem I can do anything more here yet. 
got a good deal of treasure. It's always a good thing. Hopefully I can actually use that treasure in the upcoming town once I save it. Okay, I think I've gotten killing these things down. I can get used to the patterns of those spear-throwing skeletons next. I should be fine up to the next save point. There we go. Just barely. I would say it's nice to be home, but apparently it's being ravaged by monsters and demons. Okay. Let's get an upgrade in there. Now I definitely need the health boost. Okay. And now to check out the first town. Oh, here's a shop. Oh, it's locked. Don't have anybody running the shop. The inn's locked. And that eye symbol says that's supposed to be a clairvoyant, probably. Lock two. Oh, shit. Uh, that was a particularly big demon. Fuck. Okay, I didn't manage to kill that boss, but... Christ. Yeah. That's probably a good move. Ah, good. Okay, so I've got a goal, but I want to see if I can use some of this gold. Yeah, I think I'll be going for this armor. Oh. Okay, so there's only four tiers of armor to collect. He doesn't seem to have anything else at the moment. What other NPC interactions do we have here? Come mad since he came back from Kajanto Peak. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Ah, in the house underground. Okay. Okay, 
So apparently his soul's been ripped from his body and can only be found at the peak of the mountain. I can do something about that, probably. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's full of shit. Okay, well, I think I've found about everything I can here for now. This is a pretty good first episode, if you ask me. I mean, I've already got a pretty solid grasp on what this game's doing. It does feel like a good spiritual successor to the original Castlevania. So, I'm gonna leave this here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Envoy of Kairos, and I'll see you all again for another episode very soon, as I'm literally going to record it right after this. Later, guys. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're looking to support me a little further, you know, maybe get some bonus content, or just keep up with me and other fans, you can find links down in the description leading to my Patreon, my Discord, and my Twitter. And, you know, if you're following me on Patreon, then you can expect some content polls to decide what's coming up on the channel yet. A little bit of, uh, background additions to some other series I've been working on, you know, some more original and creative stuff. And who knows, if enough of you start supporting me soon, I might have a few other surprises up my sleeve too. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all again on the next video.